Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something kind of fun. Um, What's that? <laughs> would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my husband Chris, who I talk about all the time and maybe you've seen before, but maybe not. And if not, this is him. And <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> He is here today because he is going to be my taste tester. We're going to be tasting a bunch of vegan eggnogs. So Yummy. a lot of them store bought, different brands, and then two that I made at home. And I need somebody's unbiased opinion. So I'm going to be putting eggnog into a bunch of glasses and I'll know which ones they are and we will both try them all and decide which one is the best. Chris will not know what is homemade or what brand anything is. Cool! <laughs> Thanksgiving is finally over, which means I can now fully go into Christmas mode. Yay! So we put up our tree, which we're using as our background today. And um, yeah, doing this fun eggnog taste test video. Hopefully this will help you guys figure out which brand is our favorite, I guess and you could go out there and try some yourself or make some yourself. Vegan, baby. Yes. Obviously, these are all vegan, and um, I'm doing eggnog specifically because it is one of my favorite things from my childhood is having eggnog during the holidays, and unfortunately, normal store-bought eggnog is not vegan. So, anyways, today is our quest to find the best vegan eggnog, and now... I'm going to go and get all the little jars of eggnog for Chris to try and I'll be back in a minute or for you guys a second. Now that's a lot of nog. Okay first I just wanted to show you guys all the brands that we are going to be testing just so you know what we're working with here. So we have the Trader Joe's Almond Nog, which I actually really love this. They've had it for a few years and it gets sold out really fast. Then I have some that I haven't tried before. This is the Whole Foods brand 365 Almond Nog. And then another one of my personal favorites is the So Delicious Coconut Nog. We've got Good Karma Holiday Nog, which I think is made out of flax milk because they're Milk is mostly made out of flax. Yep. We've got the Almond Breeze Almond Nog. Got the Silk Nog, made out of soy milk. And last but not least, we have the Califia Farms Nog. And then I have my two homemade attempts at making almond or vegan egg nogs. So this one is um, almonds, basically almond milk, straight up just almonds nog and this one here is a blend of cashew and coconut nog and I also have a little secret ingredient in there to add some thickness which is a banana so we'll see how that worked out for me I'm going to put these all in cups label which ones they are and then not tell Chris all right so we've got our nine egg nogs here it's a lot and of nog. I have a list of what they all are, and we're gonna try them. Um, and then on the back, I want you to like maybe rate them out of zero to five. Okay. And then at the end, we'll see. We'll decide which one you like the best. Okay. All right. So this is number one. How much of it do I drink? <laughs> <laughs> well, save a little just in case you need to. Also, I want to try them too. Uh, so zero to five, what would you rate that one? I would say three on that one. Okay. Tough credit. Are you putting what you'd put to it? No. Well, I guess I will. You should. Honestly, I don't really remember what they all are when I'm not <laughs> looking at the list, so... I think I'm going to give it a three too. It's, it's a little like, blander, right? Yeah. I mean, it probably has less mm -hmm. sugar, but... Oh, oh it's really that's weird. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really weird. Oh gosh, I hate it. Oh. I would say, like, is zero <laughs> the lowest one? <laughs> I don't 
really not like that one. Dude, my first thought was like it tasted kind of like rotten mangoes. Mm, yeah. Oh gosh, I was not expecting <laughs> that. A zero. I hope so it's still good. You should check the expiration I date. Ju I just bought oh, this one recently. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty nasty. Okay. Off to a rough start. <laughs> <laughs> Three, zero. Okay. Like I'm afraid to drink them now. <laughs> I hope that's like, not the one I made. <laughs> that would be sad. Well, I think you made that one. Why would you say that? Because it looks like it has like cinnamon mixed into it. <laughs> <laughs> Just drink the nog. <laughs> don't worry, I'll give yours a good rating. You don't have to. He's a tough critic. This one better than the last one? Yeah, but it's... Uh, I don't want to influence your opinion, but... It's got a weird taste to it. It doesn't taste anything like nog. Yeah, I would say two on that one. I'm gonna give that one a, a one, just because it doesn't taste horrible, but it doesn't taste like nog. Yeah. Okay. And now for one that suspiciously looks homemade. <laughs> oh gosh. Gave myself away. <laughs> what do you think? You don't like it? I like it, but it doesn't taste like eggnog, really. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, does that ruin your whole video? No. I mean, uh, it tastes yeah. more like almond milk with cinnamon <laughs> in it. <laughs> it's like really good almond milk. <laughs> That's basically what it is. But the nog, what's the nog part? You need like nutmeg or something? I put nutmeg. No. Uh -huh. And sweetened it. I mean, I would much rather drink this than any three of these <laughs> things. It just doesn't taste a lot like eggnog, you can- well, Maybe I'll post the recipe, but just call it like a holiday almond milk or something. <laughs> it's not nog, but it is good. Like outside of the category of nog, I'd give it like a four or a five. But then like dock a point since it doesn't taste like nog. Yeah. Maybe a three. Yeah. Okay. Three. If it's being judged as a nog, but if it's being judged as a holiday almond milk, okay, I'm gonna rate it a three to just docking a couple points for not nogginess. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. This one, let me taste it again. Do you want to say your opinion first? I, th I like it. Yeah, I like this one. I'd give this one a four, a four point yeah. five. I'm gonna give it a 4.5 too. I mean, it's, a 4.5. What I like it. about it is it's creamy. Yeah. It's got like a creamy texture, and the taste is not too bland, but but it's the right eggnog taste. Yeah. Like it tastes like eggnog. Mm -hmm. okay. Definitely the best one in terms of nogginess. Yeah. So far. Okay. Nogginess winner so far. Who we got? Four more. Moving on to number six. Oh, is this spoiled? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I actually kinda like that one. I don't like really? it as much as this one. To me, this is like a little too much of the noggy flavor. Like they went a little overboard. Yeah, I don't like it, not a fan. I would give that one like a, probably a 3.5. Wow. I would give it a one. Okay. But I guess you're the real judge here. Okay. Well, not necessarily. Number seven. This one kind of looks scary. So. <laughs> this one is very. It's like bright neon yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a meringue and nog. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't think she liked that one. <laughs> She's like washing her mouth out in the sink. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Sensitive pregnant lady over here. Yeah, I almost had that reaction too. It's I just so I'm gross. trying to keep a straight face because I want you to have an unbiased I don't want you to be influenced by mine, but <laughs> good job. I, <laughs> I couldn't even have it in my mouth. It was horrible. Oh my That's God. the worst one That's so far. That's worse like, than this. I'd one. say negative one yeah, negative. on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Bad. these have all been in the fridge, so like they should be fine because I 
if I got them like a few days, they've all been bought within the past like week and been in the fridge unopened. Yeah, might want to check the expiration date on a couple of them, but <laughs> no, but the, yeah, there were a couple be, that were open, good, but right? they, they're supposed to be good for seven to ten days. So yeah, I wonder if not a fan. Yeah, well. Well, okay. And this one also has the look of homemadeness. Moving on to number eight. Did you make two of them? Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> this is obviously you can tell by the frothiness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. I mean, it's not nog. <laughs> I taste the banana. That's the one with the banana in it. Yeah. I don't know what it is in eggnog that makes it taste like eggnog. If it's the nutmeg mixed with. The right amount of yeah. nutmeg or something. I mean, I tried like researching the spices and like I looked at the ingredients of all of these nogs too to see what they put in there. And it, I don't know, I don't know what gives it that like nogginess, whatever that secret flavor is. I put yeah. in the nutmeg and sweetened it, and I mean, it might just be that it's like homemade and it's not like um, processed, I guess. Yeah. It takes away that flavor. Like maybe there's like certain gums in there or something that like I can't recreate at home. So Yeah, I think I like, I like I like this one a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, this is cashew coconut and then I added half a banana for sweetener. And the or, thing or not for sweetener, for um to try to make it thicker, like eggnog. So that was my uh attempt. Well what would we rate this? In terms of uh, well, maybe like I gave this one a 3.5, right? Yeah, you gave it a 3. Uh, I'm going to give it a 3. Yeah. It's lacking the nogginess, but it's not like making me want to barf. <laughs> like the previous one. <laughs> the, those are the categories. It's like extreme nogginess and vomit worthy <laughs> on the other end. Okay, we're on our, to our last one. I don't know why I'm treating it like a glass of wine. I'm like smelling it. <laughs> Looking for the leg on the glass. I like that one. I'd give that a, a 3.5. I'd give it a 4. Yeah. Comparing to what we Yeah, compared to the <laughs> other stuff. Yeah, I guess a 4. Yeah. Honestly, I'd go back and maybe make the one that we did 4.5, the 5, because it's the best one. Yeah. Um, it wasn't this one. That wasn't that one. <laughs> uh, one. Yeah. That's definitely the best one. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just tastes good. It tastes almost like melted ice cream or something. Yeah. It has a really nice. It does. It tastes cream. like melted vanilla ice cream. Yeah, it's not only the taste, but it's the consistency of it. It's really mm -hmm. smooth. Yeah. Okay, let's reveal the winners. So, number five, which is this one, our favorite. Oh, wow. It's Almond Breeze. Is that a surprise? Yeah. Because I, I had a preconceived notion about what I thought my favorite was going to be, but that wasn't actually my favorite. Almond Breeze. Oops. <laughs> Stepping it up. It's, it's really good. good. It's very breezy. Second place is number nine, which is Trader Joe's Almond Nog. Third place was number six, which is so delicious. I thought this was going to be my favorite. This was like, this is the one that I've been like drinking at home the most. And I oh, thought really? This was gonna be my favorite, yeah. What's funny is I thought, because I had been kind of drinking some of these too in the <coughs> fridge, and I didn't really even notice that much of a difference between the different ones. So I was thinking we we're gonna do this, and I thought it would be kind of funny if like all of them tasted exactly the same. Yeah, but man, you, they really taste different when you taste them. Yeah, lining up next, up to, each next to each other, they're really different. Yeah. And so, also, I don't think I'm gonna want eggnog for the rest of the year now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like then, way too much description yeah. of the nog. Like people are watching this, like, it's like a what? 45 minute long <laughs> nog taste test video. Wait one second, we're gonna do it all again. Yeah. We need an in-depth analysis of each yeah. nog. That's our laundry machine. Sorry. Okay, now we have three nogs that tied for fourth place. Which is number one, which is the 365 brand. Number four, which was my homemade almond milk. 
And number eight, which was also my homemade cashew. Cool. Okay. And then fifth place, we have number three. This was silk. As we get lower we on the list. Again. <laughs> As we get lower, I'm too scared to it's drink like, it. It's <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, so you see it there. Good. We tasted yeah, it. Yeah, something wasn't good about it. Dump so that one out. I'm just gonna not try it again. <laughs> just trust my first instinct on that. And then sadly, second to last place, with a zero score, we have the Califia Farms. No. So sad. I like your other milks. Just uh, the nog's a little strange. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's kind of like spicy, right? Uh, I'll taste. <laughs> You're gonna again. do it. Oh my god! This is. <laughs> it's just. It's weird. It's like. Like a some kind of like a blue popsicle taste mixed with. <laughs> Mixed with Pepto Bismol or something. I can't put my finger on it. I, don't know. I only well, bought that two days ago and just opened it, so there's no way it could be bad. Okay, and then in a very, very overwhelming performance for last place, we have this neon yellow Good Karma. That's sad. The flax milk. I love their normal milks. Yeah. We use them all the time in our cereals. You're not going to try it again, huh? I'm going to check the expiration date on, on this. <laughs> just, I'll be right back. Okay, so just for proof, the Good Karma was just opened right now during this video, has been in the fridge, and the expiration date is January 25th, 2020. So, I don't know what, what, what? happened. Unless they like gave me a spoiled one in the store or something happened to it. It's pretty off, it made it go but, bad, but... Uh, I do like that it says it has 600 milligrams of omega-3 per serving. <laughs> oh gosh. I actually feel kind of sad because I did not mean this video as like a hate on any of these brands. Like, we love Good Karma, the brand, and um, all of their milks and other products. Um, I just wanted to unbiasedly try some uh, nogs and that's what happened, so. Thank you, Good Karma, for the protein <laughs> Thank you, Good Karma. Flax milks. Just, uh. Might I just not want to go back to the drawing board. I don't like the nog that much, but Might I will get still back buy your other lab products. On that one. Sorry, I keep talking. <laughs> the same time you do. It's okay. Tis the season to get noggy. Na 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 nog. <laughs> and then this Califia Farms one. Again, I love this brand, so I'm actually really sad about this and did not mean to, uh. Say anything bad about them, but I bought the bottle's this. cool. Yeah, the bottle's really cool. I love their oat milks and other milks. What place did that one get? This one got second to last. Oh man. Yeah. Let's see. The expiration date January twenty seventh, twenty twenty. And today is what December third or fourth. fourth. Yeah. Today's December fourth. Love their other products. Love you, Califia Farms. Just uh, don't like the knock. Okay. Yeah, well I think the important thing to say is like, with all these brands, it's great that their intention is yeah. to make a vegan, a vegan nog. nog that people can have as an alternative to a dairy choice. So they're all saving animals, which is great. Yeah, so they should that's be, the important you know, part. And, and this is just, you know, our opinion. So you should try them out for yourself, see what you think. Right, I'm curious if you guys have tried any of these brands, then let me know in the comments what you thought about them. But yeah, that is our taste test video for all these eggnogs. And I hope that you enjoyed watching it. And thank you, Chris, for being a lovely, pleasant, Christmas spirit joining me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for petting me like some kind of <laughs> domesticated animal. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more vegan food related content and also I announced in the last video that I'm pregnant now thanks to this guy. So I will Get be <laughs> I will be posting more videos related to that too. So 
Thank you and have a great first couple weeks of December and I'll see you next Friday for a new video. Bye. Get noggy with it. Nog 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 get noggy with it. Nog 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 n